So the reason I want to talk about this is I think that sometimes when we are in a place where we feel stuck or we feel frustrated with our careers, if something is slightly out of a line with how we feel, we don't really feel very appreciated, we might feel undervalued. One of the things that can really be impacted is your voice and feeling that you can share it fully and authentically and truthfully. And I've been in that situation where I realized after several years of working with the same people in the same environment that I wasn't really saying what I wanted to say. I didn't feel like I was being truthful. I wasn't really emitting those things that are passionate to me. I wasn't really telling my truth. So I want to share some of this in the hope that this might help you as you start to think about those passions and ideas that you want to bring into your career so that you can really speak your truth. I am Rachel. For any of you who don't know me, I am a public health doctor, a professional coach and a mindfulness meditation teacher. So I am sharing lots of these mindful tips that I have picked up along the way in my career. And this is really a space where you can use that energy time to think to think about how you want to move forward and learn as much as you can from my experience which I'm happy to share with you from the last 20 years or so 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 today I thought I would talk to you about boldly sharing your voice I want to share some of this in the hope that this might help you as you start to think about those passions and ideas that you want to bring into your career so that you can really speak your truth And this is really key to being genuine and authentic to who you are and trying to transmit that in every communication that you have. So this is really important when you start to also communicate about your career change to those people around you, maybe your loved ones, maybe your colleagues, really being able to speak from the heart about why you are doing what you're doing and where you're going. And I think it's really helpful if you can be mindful, bring that sense of mindfulness into what you're actually saying so that When you say something and how you express it, you've already had that moment of bringing yourself into that conscious thought. So moving away from that subconscious where it's just an automatic response to say to someone, you know, I'm doing this, I'm leaving this, I'm whatever it is, but moving away from that thought and that pattern to one that is really much more considered where you've actually just taken that tiny pause between responding and being conscious about what you want to say. Because the more authentic you can be about your words and the way you share them, the more you're going to be able to build those stronger and more genuine connections with other people as well. And this is really key when you're moving forward in your career transition to kind of find those champions. If people who are going to really support you, they're going to hold you up, they're going to make you feel amazing. They're going to be the people who power you along. And the more you can express yourself fully to those people, the more they will understand you, see you and hear you. This is really, really important if you have any presence that you want to build, particularly if you want to have a presence where you're facing clients or patients or particularly on the online world, the more authentic you can be with your voice, the more other people will be able to feel that authenticity. So you may find online world is very, very overwhelming. There's lots of conversation there. There's a lot of content. But if you can voice what you really want to say and continue to be motivated by that impact, then you will have a much better connection to those people who you really want to connect to and the people who want to hear what you're saying, which is the really crucial bits. When you start to think about wanting to share your voice, whatever it is in the world, you know, if it's about wanting to make a difference, if it's about wanting to support people in a certain way or to help people to feel healthier, Think about how you can really start to communicate that. And that might be slightly different to what you're communicating now in your current role. So it can feel a little bit like you're opening yourself up to some vulnerability. But when that comes up, see that vulnerability as a strength and use that to also share some of those things that may be uncertain for you. Share some of those fears because this isn't really what life is normally about. You know, none of us are perfect. All of us face these fears and uncertainties and worries. So sharing some of that as well can also bring out a side of strength in you to be able to share when things are not always perfection or we what we perceive as perfection. So also really think about when you're sharing your truth, how you can think about the way you talk to yourself. So be kind to yourself with those words. So when you talk to yourself about what your truth is and what you want to share with people and maybe you feel like you want to say something but you don't so then you might hear that negative talk coming up so be really um, conscious about using self-acceptance and self-compassion when you think about this so that you are always 
being kind and the to yourself and the way you talk to yourself. And if you're finding this difficult, I would say one of the things to really think about is what is the risk of you not speaking your truth in this environment? And this is something that lots of my coaching clients find that they struggle with because they really want to voice an opinion. They might want to voice a way that they want to do something. And if you are unable to identify what that risk is of not speaking your truth, of actually suppressing all your thoughts and emotions, if you can't do that, it's very hard to give yourself that that added motivation, particularly if your energy is low and you don't want to be in a situation that you're in. So think about that risk of not speaking your truth, of su- suppressing all those thoughts and emotions, of not really being your true self. You know, what is that impact for you on your emotional well-being and your mental health? And what is that risk? The clearer you can get on that, the more motivated you might feel to be able to really speak your truth. Because if you can speak your truth, then you can really feel that sense of freedom And it can also allow you to be calmer in a lot of situations. So particularly if you think you might have have a tricky conversation, maybe you want to tell your supervisor or your team that you want to leave your role or go reduce down your hours. If you know that you are speaking from a place of truth, a place of authenticity, of really coming from the inner self that you are truly true to and aligned to, then you will be able to feel calmer in those situations and it will make those trickier conversations slightly easier. So really think about this as you start to move forward so that you can be the most authentic you can be as you start to think about your career transition. So that's really about speaking that truth, really speaking it and being connected to what your truth is. And along with this, I think the second part I want to share about is believing in your values. So really, this is about recognizing that you are unique. All of you hold unique value and potential. Everything you've done up to this point makes you who you are and contributes to what you can offer the world. So try to bring some mindful practices into your world, that allow you to continually to reflect on what your intrinsic worth is, to recognize this value and this potential. And one of the really nice practices that I think can help here is practicing gratitude, thinking about being grateful for all the things that you have experienced, grateful for all those qualities and talents that you've built up. Because when we practice gratitude, what it does is it shifts us into what we do have and it moves us away from focusing on what we don't have. So gratitude can be a really nice way to start to believe in your value and start to recognize all of that potential that you have for yourself. And another approach that can be useful is thinking about affirmations. So think about how you want to show up in the world. What is really important to you? What do you really feel aligned with? And build that into an affirmation that you can regularly use to give yourself that sense of confidence of that inner belief, that sense that you are valued and you are seeing that value yourself. So those are two really nice ways to think about how you can recognize your value and then start to really believe in yourself. And within that, thinking about how you can set those healthy boundaries so that when you do share your energy and your voice, you are using it in a way that allows you to feel recognized and appreciated and allows you to prioritize your own needs. So this may be thinking about when you feel most valued and identifying, like I said, those people who are going to really light you up and make you feel amazing. And also maybe avoiding avoiding those situations that don't make you feel like that. So really thinking about setting those healthy boundaries for yourself so that you get everything you need in life and you start to feel better and better about your confidence going forward. You regain that confidence and that value for yourself as you take those steps towards your goals so that you can really move from daydreaming to really taking action. If you want to be that role model and be that legacy that you really want to be in this world, When you share your voice, it will inspire other people to share their truth as well and to share their voices. And so you can be that role model to other people around you. It may be your team at work. It may be the juniors you're working with. It might be your children. It might be your friends or your family. But the more that you can step into that truth and start to share it boldly with the world, the more you will inspire other people to also do the same. So remember, if you want to be that role model, maybe you've really struggled to find role models in your career, but if you want that to be that role model for other people, partly sharing your truth and being able to share your real inner sense of value and belief that will allow other people to do the same. So hopefully that uh, those two will help you to think about how you can share your voice a bit more boldly. So speaking your truth, really getting down to that authentic connection and believing in your value. And the third thing I want to share today is to contribute where it matters. So this is really thinking about where you want to use your voice to have the biggest impact. 
So use all those passions and those values to guide you to really think about what you want to do when you expend your energy and use your voice to the maximum. So find those people, like I said, find those people who you can make meaningful connections with. Find those groups where you feel you are with like-minded people. Find those people who connect with you on an energetic sense so that you can radiate your energy outwards and you can continue to build and build on your impact. So that when you're using your voice boldly, you are doing that in a way that's really aligned with your goals and with your values and with the way you want to live life. So uh, try and align your next career steps with your passions so that you feel more fulfilled thinking about that so that you can find that transition to find your purpose in life. As I say often, it's not just about the next job. It's really about making that sustainable change. So as you start to share your voice in the next steps for yourself, whether that's about your career or about what you want to share in your career or what you are delivering in your office, all of these ways that you do that, the more mindful you can be about how you're doing that and the more mindful practices you can bring into your life to be able to give you that confidence to boldly share your voice, you're going to be able to be more aligned with your passions and your dreams and your goals and use your energy wisely often we come from a place where we feel really low in energy we feel quite depleted we might feel quite drained particularly after conversations or activities or certain environments or work so think about sharing your voice and saving your voice for the times and the people where it really matters where you can make that biggest impact so that might be that you avoid actually having some of those conversations in those environments so that you can really conserve it conserve it for when it's really important to you and try and bring that mindfulness in so like I said whenever you start to share something with clarity with boldness with that authenticity take that pause have that pause for that moment and think about what you're about to share does it need to be heard how can you say it in a way that is really aligned with who you are and your deepest sense of, of authenticity so this really is a way to just think about being conscious bringing that conscious and intention into those next steps for you and really getting to that stage where you feel that you can say what you want to say and in a way that is confident and bold that you're able to use that to step forward 